Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals. Welcome back to my channel. This is a flip through of the latest edition of Daphne's Diary. So this is number five. I think there are eight that come out per year. And this is the beautiful cover. Look at the cover. Really lovely florals. Let's have a look at the back. Love the script writing here. Flowers. Love this pen here. So that's just stunning. This one could definitely be a beautiful, beautiful front cover of a journal. And this is gorgeous too. Look at that. Loving all of the blue. Sparkle. There's my word. <laughs> so um, yeah, sit back, relax, grab something yummy to eat <laughs> and hope you enjoy this flip through. So just gorgeous colours in this magazine. I love the vintage and the florals and um yeah, just so fun to look at. Very visual. Uh, it's the only magazine that I really like. I've tried looking at like Frankie and how cute um, and like the other magazines around in that kind of vein. Um, but I just don't like any of the other ones. Flo, is that another one? Um, yeah, Somerset Studio. Um, yeah, because every now and then I'll go to the news agent and I'll look for another magazine that I could uh, use in my journaling, but none of them really grab my attention like like this one. And so just a reminder, you can't use anything with Daphne's Diary in it for, um, for sale, but you can for personal use and your own journaling and makes wonderful gifts. Um, I did have a question about... Uh, you know magazines usually when you buy a magazine as long as you don't photocopy it you should be able to use the pages in sold projects and I believe that is the case except for Daphne's Diary um, because I did email Daphne's Diary directly and they emailed me back and they confirmed it they said yes you cannot sell anything that has Daphne's diary in it and the reason they gave me was because of the other artists work in the magazine is copyrighted um, so yeah I'm not sure why other magazines is different <laughs> um, or what the policies are of other magazines all I can say is I yeah emailed Daphne's diary directly and that's what they said so um, yeah so now I love just using it for personal use and for gifts um, and I guess later on, I will film a little bit of a video showing a love all of this. So pretty. Um, love this. <laughs> of how I go through it and will cut some things out. So pretty for my personal journaling. So for my anchor journal, um, for the anchor journal course, a lot of what I do for my page spreads in that course is use magazine images and the majority of them are from Daphne's diary. If I do use other images, it will be usually from books, like book pages, or it'll be from documents from my own life or photos. But the majority of um, images that I use, love this, for the anchor course, um, and my own anchor journal was this, the magazine. So I really love using um, this magazine for cutting out pictures and words, that speak to me and inspire me and help me to document things that matter to me in my journal. Oh my gosh, the Tour de France, I could do a page on this. <laughs> uh, some of you might know that I really enjoy the Tour de France. Let's have a look in here. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Okay, you're not gonna be able to really see the rest, but it's just a black and white picture of the rest and here's the bottom of the horse. What I'm looking at is that flower. So pretty. So, so pretty. So what I do first of all, yeah, is go through the magazine, cut out the pieces that I want for my journaling. And then with the remainder, I tend to um, make journals out of it. And they generally go to my beautiful patrons as a thank you gift um, to them. So look at this solid paper so at the back they usually include solid papers and usually I love them but these ones aren't my colors <laughs> if that was blue and teal I would love it but not my color scheme so these ones I wouldn't really um, pull out 
This one's a bit better because it has the flowers. Um, and that's quite nice. I, I could see myself ripping this out and using this as a background and maybe using a permanent marker and, and writing a quote in my anchor journal. In fact, I'll show you my anchor journal now just so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's my anchor journal. I decorated it at the front and back with Daphne's diary pages. And then you can see throughout all of this is from Daphne's diary. And this page is from Daphne's diary. This one's actually from a book called Granny Chic. This is from Daphne's diary. Um, some of these are from a different magazine that I got. So this is from Granny Chic. This was from Daphne's diary. That's a photo of my room. <laughs> These are from Daphne's diary. That's from another magazine. It was called In Her Studio. So that was like a one-off buy that I got just for this journal course and my own journal. This was um, from Daphne's diary. Again, more photos from my own life. This is a book page. Um, photos from my own life, documents from my own life. These are from Granny Chic. So just to inspire you of different ways, book pages, you can use things like magazines to cut out the pictures and the words and you can really create such a wonderful journal like cutting out the word beauty there this is Daphne's diary all of this and then I just use this page um, to write a poem um, so yeah really really fun book page more book pages oh, I love this page that's gorgeous but yeah, that's just an example if you're kind of wondering, because I get questions, how do I use Daphne's diary in my journaling? Well, this is a prime example of how I use it. Again, cutting out the words, make your house a home, and that just made me, this picture reminded me of home, so then I was journaling about home. I wrote this quote by Charlie and I can see home isn't always a place. Um, so yeah, that's how I use the images from here and then let that prompt me for journal prompts, which is really fun. Um, so yeah, if you want to do the Anchor Journal course, <laughs> you can definitely do that one as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope it inspires you to look at books differently, maybe magazines differently and um, use, them, use the pictures and words to inspire your journaling and you can use them as journal prompts. Very rich source for your journaling. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. A guys. big special thank you to all of my patrons who supported me in September. Thank you so so much for making my creative dreams come true. Um, if you would like to become a patron in October, I would be forever grateful, and you will get access to extra printables and videos, and depending on your tier, first preference for my journals, behind the scenes looks and updates. Um, I'm also running my courses again in August. So there's the Willow Journal course, the Anchor Journal course, and the launch of the Art Journal course. So check the description box below for any of those details if you're interested. And I also have a buy me a coffee donation option as well. You can check me out on Instagram and the Facebook group page where I put up updates and announcements and there's the community page as well. Willow Bound Journals exists to bring light and love into the world.